You getting worried? I bitch too for in the visa. picking up that wind is pushing that water uh, you can just see the, the wind spray right there that's at least tropical storm force winds uh, the uh, wind picking up the water from the uh, Biscayne Bay area and just dumping it all across the uh, city streets uh, Brickle uh, a lot of this is also going to have an impact with uh, some of the buildings there I'm sure uh, sewer systems are going to start to come up Obviously, there's no drainage. We are at sea level, so none of this is going to drain anytime soon. Uh, and some of those uh, sewer lines are going to start to clog up and come back up. That is going to be a sanitary issue down the road. We're also going to see some uh, marine life. Uh, there's a whole host of issues here that, uh, that come along with this kind of surge. And uh, it is just not going to abate anytime soon. And on top of that, of course, there's the structural issues, the insurance issues, mold. Uh, uh. Woo! Guys, things are getting serious down there in South Florida, man. Right? But right now, we are cooling. And um, in Orlando, we, we're catching the vibe. It's starting to rain outside. I'm show you how, our, how we looking out here. It's still nice. Well, not nice, but... It's just raining, no winds right now. You see, as you can see, this tree is not moving at all. Um, but down south in the Brickle area, water is starting to come up a little bit. But I called my parents and everything. Everything is fine. They just don't have power at the moment. But everything over there is just cooling. There's just winds blowing and it's raining down there. But other than that, they are safe. And Jimbo is safe. Everybody is safe. Um, and yeah, but this is one of the updates that i'm giving you guys on the hurricane well we at right now and we're just gonna go along and probably head outside to give you a first hand look on how we looking over here hopefully my camera doesn't get wet and um probably put something around it so it don't get wet but i'm gonna head out there probably put a jacket on or whatever you feel me and then go because it's not that bad outside um but in the meantime i'm gonna keep watching these news Yes. I'm gonna put on my Spider-Man jacket. You gonna put on your Spider-Man jacket? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, guys, I see a lot of you guys in the comment section going crazy. Don't worry about all that, guys. Just pray for us. We are fine. You don't have to go all crazy in the comment section because I understand Houston went through stuff because Houston and um and Florida is two different things. We on sea level, and you guys, I think, are probably. I don't know you guys got dams and stuff so they hold the water from going in so we don't have that problem over here so that's why i think you guys got flooded or whatever but i don't know don't don't hold me to that um i'm just going off what i think but at the end of the day we are safe guys and just keep us in your prayers and that's it you feel me but other than that i love you guys you feel me more clips to come man I'm about to head outside in a little bit and start shooting some videos for beam squad might show you a little bit of that and yeah behind the scenes stuff feel me so see you guys in the next one yeah guys so your boys just put some clothes some different stuff on and i'm charging all of our stuff because we had got to notice that they might be taking the power and it's starting to rain harder now guys you guys can see it's starting to rain a little harder but the wind is still the wind still hasn't picked up yet, but we're preparing ourselves for it. And as you guys can see, everything is still calm right now. Um, this is the back area. So everything is still calm right now, guys. No winds, just a little bit of rain, like a regular, a regular storm. Just like a regular rainy day and I think this is going to be the spot I'm going to come back to later so I don't get wet and my camera so you guys can see the effects of how everything really looks. So stay tuned guys. When the hurricane gets a little stronger, I will be coming back to this spot and um, keep you guys updated. Yeah guys, hopefully they don't take the power so we can still be good, you feel me? And I'll be able to upload the videos for you guys and everything. So stay tuned man. Keep you guys updated on this Hurricane Irma. You feel me? Bang. Look at her, guys. She talking about she was scared. And she over here busy doing her makeup and shit. Because we about to do a video, right? Eh? Because we about to do a video for a Beam Squad channel. 
Yeah. I'm gonna be like this on the vlog on, on the channel. The ganged up, man. I already suited and booted. It's a hurricane. I don't got time to be looking all purdy and duty. You feel me? Purdy and duty? Mm hmm. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means either. I just said it. But at the end of the day, we here. You feel me? I think it looks better like this. Yeah, it, it, it does look better like that. Like it's raining hard. I'm almost done. It's raining hard. It's, 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 it seems like a, a nice little rainy day right now. But. In Miami is a little harder, it's windy. What, what did your mom say? Did you call her? Yeah, I called her. She said that everything is okay. They just have no power right now. They cut off. They cut it off around three in the morning. She said. Three in the morning. Yeah, three in the morning. They cut the power off. They cut it off or it came off. It they, they cut it off or they it came off. Well, to make Most sure. likely they cut it off. Yeah, to make sure nothing. To make happened. sure nothing happened, but yeah. So that's it. I called Jimmy, but you know they don't have Wi-Fi and shit. So shit crazy over there. But we cooling, man. Hurry up so we can start these videos, bruh. All right. Yeah, man. We about to start recording for Beam Squad. We gonna try to, you know, keep these videos coming. New challenges on the way. Make sure you guys are... By the time, I think that video should be out before this video. Make sure you guys go like and subscribe and watch that video for your boy. Because we ain't gonna let Hurricane Irma stop us. You already know Pinky's up, man. Uh, and the eye itself starting to make its way on up the uh, southwest coast of Florida. Uh, you can see the intense uh, rainstorms, the lightning uh, that is just wrapping around that eye right there on the seven storm tracker. Yeah, also getting uh, from Carlene Chavis uh, just handed me this information, un unconfirmed report of a spotter uh, on Marco Island reporting significant damage. So somebody reporting significant roof damage and trees shredded. They're describing the trees as being shredded all over Marco Island. Maximum sustained winds of over 112 miles an hour with wind gusts up to 129 miles per hour. So you can imagine what the damage is going to be. And, and you can imagine, you know, what these poor people are going through. These are live pictures. This is Nicole uh, Lensalata and Brad Freakin's camera right here in Naples. And look at the wind. It is whipping wow. that rain so hard, it almost looks like snow, you know, like when it's just sort of, there's a light dusting of snow, and it's, the, the rain, the wind is just so incredibly strong, and this is, looks like just consistent rain right here, it's not even a wind gust, so, and this isn't the worst of it, the eye has not completely passed over Naples. Yeah, expecting those sustained winds in Naples to increase over the next few minutes, and just look at those palm trees bending in that intense wind that is currently pushing through parts of southwest florida yeah guys so naples right now is getting it the worst right now miami is actually getting hit as well but naples is where the eyes is where it's, where it's um, strongest at hopefully it dies down by the time it gets up here maybe a category three and um you know category 20 category 20 <laughs> category 20 Like doing a noise. Huh? I hear some other noise. Excuse me, Saya. Huh? Please leave You getting worried? No, I'm not getting worried. I just know they don't have a power. I'm just trying to check on it. I know my dad. He he he, he charges his phone and he's just gonna keep calling people for no reason. Let me call my mom now. Yeah, call your mom and see. That's your grandma. How are you doing, Sia? Good. I, I just know that she says your grandma. Yeah. Straight to voicemail. You call, it, call your sister. Oh, let me your call sister me. probably the only one, the, the smartest one out of everybody. You see, this is the reason why hurricanes suck. Oh. That's your sister? Yeah, I'm calling Tati Sasai. Tati Sasai? Yeah. Everybody. Another thing, I think there's no signal. There's no um. I don't know if the uh one of the antennas broke down or something like that down there, because one of my homeboys did call me, but he said he's in Miramar, so I don't know. Um. What was going on? And my other homeboy texted me. He said that. What he said in the text? He 
Said something about he ain't have no signal. He said, dog, I got no service or power, kid. Got to use my Verizon for power. I guess he has like a, a extra little Verizon um thing or whatever. So he can use for power. So he just texted me that. I just told him that we are, we are right over here. And I think he's in Broward as well. So, damn. Things are getting a little critical out here in the streets. You feel me? I can't contact my parents. Um, Jimbo. Ivani's parents, Ivani's sister, nobody. So right now, this is what's going on right now, guys. Disconnected We're disconnected from Miami. I'm um, thinking about just hitting the road and just, and just, just three stuff. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm just playing. I ain't going nowhere. But um, guys, just stay tuned, man. Keep us in y'all prayers. You already know the hurricane is hitting hard. It's hitting hard right now. It's over. I think the eyes are over Naples right now. So let me watch this. Let me show you guys. I think it is over Naples. Let me see. Okay, we got some wind reports right here. Meteorologist, meteorologist Carlin Chavis just brought these out to me as we looked at the southwest coast of Florida. A uh, 130 mile power wind gust was recently reported by the Marco Island Police Department. Again, the eye just coming on shore there a short while ago. A 71 mile power wind, sustained wind, and 97 mile power wind gust. Oh man. It's getting a little. It's getting a little windy outside guys it's getting a little harder and harder but um it's getting darker outside i still haven't spoke to my parents yet or anybody on or anybody in miami yet so i'm still waiting to see if i can get a call from them or anything while well, coming back to the spot that i was at earlier so you guys can get a glimpse of how it's looking right now still calm it's not that bad right now guys so i see a lot of you guys in the comment section going crazy and stuff like that but i understand you guys are concerned you guys want us to evacuate now but there is no way to, for us to evacuate because where are we gonna go i don't want to we, we already stuck here so i ain't trying to get trapped in the road you feel me just in my car traveling i can't do that so it's better for us to stay home and Everybody is like nobody even evacuated from Orlando. Most most of the people came from Miami from down south to Orlando to get shelter. So I think we're pretty safe here guys. So you guys don't have to worry too much. You feel me? I know the storm is actually on the storm is actually on on the west side I believe, on Naples side, on Naples area. So that's where it's getting hit hard at, the eye is over there, so just keep us in your prayers, just keep us in your prayers, guys. I think we'll be fine. As you guys can hear the wind blowing left and right. So I'm about to head back inside, guys. My bitch too for an visa. I don't need her. Pull a drop top with an eater. Two seaters. New bitch wanna fuck with my AP. New freezer. I woke up thinking about bands. Hop over a jet to a chick when I 